The Bengals have plenty of free agents that are not only free to test the market on Monday, but they could sign elsewhere. Who will stay? Who will go? Let's dive into it on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to CBT. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, check out our videos this week, including free agents that the Bengals could target with the legal tampering period beginning on Monday, and we'll have you covered here on CBT. And let's dive into the free agents. And we did a free agent preview where we went in depth with each guy, whether it was Eli App or Jermaine Pratt or Jesse Bates, but that, to be quite honest, was over a month ago. So how am I feeling going into free agency with the legal tampering period set to begin on Monday? I'm going to go player by player. And I'm not going to name every single Bengals free agent, but a lot of the big ones that are probably uh, on your mind or on your mind right now going into this free agency period. And let's start with Jesse Bates. I think Jesse Bates is gone. And if I had to predict where, I guess I would say Cleveland, but the Falcons are, are certainly a team expected to make a push. I think there will be a, a few sleeper teams in the mix for Jesse Bates, and he's just going to take the, the top dollar, the best situation. Uh, well, he's in the best situation, and I just I don't think that the, the Bengals, where they see him and where Jesse sees himself, I just think there's too big of a gap. It doesn't happen, and it's not going to happen. If I had to guess, I say he stays in division and signs David Mulligan as his agent. Deshaun Watson is obviously the Browns quarterback, also represented by David Mulligetta. I think that part of it matters, and we know the Browns are willing to hand out big-time guaranteed money. I think Jesse Bates ends up in Cleveland. Jermaine Pratt is another one that a lot of people have discussed, talked about. And while I think there is a path for him to return, I don't think it's likely. And he's going to end up elsewhere, one, because I, I believe, and really, he'll tell you, that he believes he's a three-down linebacker and he wants an increased role. And when you see the Bengals re-sign a guy like Joe Bocce, they they value Joe Bocce. And he's not on Jermaine Pratt's level, but Logan Wilson is a guy that I think they want to get an extension done with. And are you going to pay Pratt and Logan long-term? I don't think so. So I think Pratt signs elsewhere. I'm not going to make a prediction on exactly where he lands because I would just strictly be guessing and not have really any knowledge of who's interested in Jermaine Pratt, but I do think he ends up elsewhere. All right, let's get to a guy that I think stays around. And Von Bell has been such a huge part of this team for the past three seasons. He wasn't really on their radar at the start of free agency in 2020. And then the Bengals looked at it, looked at his market, and they they got him. And what a blessing he's been to that entire coaching staff as they've kind of revamped that defense in the past two years, had one of the best defenses in the NFL. I think the Bengals really want Von Bell back, and they're going to make a push to keep him. They know how valuable he is. They know how hard it's going to be if you lose both Bates and Bell, and that would be a dark time, Luana Rumo said last week. So I don't expect that to happen. I think the Bengals find a way to get it done unless Bell just gets overwhelmed at the start of free agency, at the start of that legal tampering period. And if that happens, I could certainly see him signing elsewhere. And again, if you're wondering who I think the Bengals could sign in free agency, I did an entire video on that. So make sure you check it out. Posted that Thursday. I'll throw uh, you know a link. That's why you hit subscribe. You'll be able to catch all of our videos right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Next on the list, Hayden Hurst. This one's interesting because I think Hayden Hurst wants to be back and loves the fit. I also think Hayden Hurst is likely going to get more money than the Bengals are willing to offer him on the free agent market. It's a really good tight end draft. It's deep. The Bengals want to get young. They want to get cost effective in some of these positions. Well, why not do it at tight end? And if you're Hayden Hurst, you signed for one year, three and a half million dollars last year with the Bengals to do what? Bolster your market. Show the league that you can be a true tight end and number one guy. I don't know if he fully did that. I think he he certainly was successful in the Bengals scheme, the Bengals offense, but it's not like he had 800 yards or 1,000 yards. And it would have been hard, in all fairness, for him to do that given the offense. That said, I think that a team will go after him and and offer him a a bit more than the Bengals are willing to, and we'll see what happens there. Are are they willing to to go that extra mile to keep him? Is he willing to take a little bit of a cut, a little bit of a haircut to stay? I think that's a big question, but uh, if I had to guess, I would say Hayden Hurst signs elsewhere. The guys, uh, other guys that I'll hit very quickly, Eli Apple. I, I think this 
This one is a, a return. Luana Rumo's here. You've played your best ball under Luana Rumo. I don't think you're going to have a really hot market. Why not sign a, a short-term deal with the Bengals and come back next season? We'll see on that. Trey Flowers, sort of the same. I think he's a wait and see. I don't think he's going to have a, a really hot market, and the Bengals could wait and see how free agency plays out, maybe even wait and see how the, the draft plays out before they bring back Trey Flowers. That said, they may just decide to bring him back right now because it's continuity. It's not like it's impacting your draft plans regardless. Other guys, Samaj P. Ryan, if I had to guess, I would say he would be back. He would be the veteran, and they would ultimately move on from Joe Mixon. We'll see if they do that. Travion Williams is interesting. If for some reason they lose some AJP Ryan, I could certainly see a path for Travion Williams coming back, knows the system. I think he's pretty solid between the tackles and is certainly a valuable piece on special teams. And then one more for you. And I actually think that there's a pretty decent shot he does come back. Drew Sample. This is a guy that, and you're laughing probably, right? And he's coming off of, you know, a knee surgery and he's rehabbing here in Cincinnati and Hayden Hurst got all the love and he's not great with the ball in his hands and he's not a super awesome pass catcher and all of those things, but he is a solid blocker. And the Bengals, I think they're going to draft a tight end. They might even draft two tight ends, but why not have a guy, a veteran Drew Sample that you know can block at a high level? That's not going to cost you anything. I think Drew Sample's back in 2023 and re-signs with this team. It might take a few months, but uh, I think he will be back. So there you go. There's my free agency prediction for all of the Bengals free agents to be. They already re-signed Joe Bocci. They re-signed Jalen Davis. Davis, a two-year deal. Bocci, a one-year deal. Two valuable special teams pieces. And uh, Mike Hilton's backup, Jalen Davis, at that nickel cornerback spot. So we're going to be covering it wall-to-wall and make sure, like I said, you check out the video of free agents. You want to know who the Bengals could sign? I did a, an entire video, about 14 minutes long. Really good stuff. Uh, plenty on the offensive line, plenty at the cornerback position, uh, plenty at, at different spots, including a sneaky wide receiver at the end of the video. So check that one out. And uh, for Andrew Fox Miller, who, man, he's going to have to beef up the, those editing skills, the stamina, and get back to regular season form with free agency around the corner. Uh, I'm James Rapine signing off for now on CBT. Cincinnati Bengals talk.